How close will you let me get to you before you fly away? Wow, that's pretty close. Hello. Well, good morning. Thank you for taking care of my flowers, friend. In six days, I'm turning 49, okay? So, like, all right. The fact that my birthday is coming has me a little bit disturbed. I'm trying to be like, I'm such a happy person inside. Oh, your favorite song? Look at the trees are blowing. Oh, no. This is your favorite song, John. This is your favorite song. gonna go to work in a few minutes it's Monday morning hello my love he's got that worried look on his face oh but you're lucky and then I'll be home cuz Daniel has therapy and I have to come sign a bunch of paperwork yeah cuz that's what I do I take care of everybody do you need to go potty we well, have to go outside and have your breakfast okay look at him look at him studying what I'm saying come on let's go let's go Boy, it's toasty roasty out today already. It's nine, nine. Oh, look at these coneflowers, they're so pretty. Gosh, I can't keep the camera from fogging up. It's not even Florida. Oh, my flowers are so pretty this year. It's one of the ones that has the blue spots on the back. He is busy at work. All right. So much beauty. Thank you. How close will you let me get to you before you fly away? Wow, that's pretty close. Hello. Well, good morning. Thank you for taking care of my flowers, friend. This is too funny. This is miracle number two. I just looked down and look at this.
Well, hello there on Monday. It is, uh, what time is it? It's like 1.45. I'm just about to leave work. Put my watch on upside down. Do you ever do that? It's like, ah! <laughs> okay. All right. Nice, nice thing about being an insurance agent for a little while is it distracts my mind a little bit from worrying about my crap. The bad crap, the bills, the pressure, the fix this, fix that, the phone calls, the worries, the doctors. And, um, this is my office. I'll give you a quick sweep because they changed me around. I am now in the corner. It's really basically a great big square and um, I like it. I have this little corner in here and I have a tree in the corner and I have windows and, and I have a therapy at 145 and um, Apparently, there's a lot of paperwork for me to fill out, so... But uh, I'm going to go home and see what the kids are up to. Sarah did not help out pretty well, but um, I wish I could work more and make more money, but uh, I do the best I can. It's not much. Wow! My head hurts today. Like, I walked out the door from the office air conditioning, and it was like the heat and humidity today just kind of... Is there something like you feel like your whole head either just exploded or it was about to? <laughs> yeah, it's just this happens to me every July. I end up with the sinus issues. I think it's just the change of the so our old physical therapist, our home therapist at home, not the school one, um, is filling in for her while she's on maternity leave, at least for the summer. So we haven't seen her in a long time, and she was the one who was with Daniel for like seven years. So I'm uh, excited that she's coming to work with him and I have I had to leave work early because I have piles of paperwork I have to sign um, they have to like reassess him and I don't know what they have to do something like that there 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 after that I gotta think about getting a tire fixed because this is a dumb stupid flat tire on the Corolla I was like, did you get the tire fixed? I'm like, no, I went to work and I'm going home to see therapy. So, yeah, here we are. Home sweet home. Stuff from mom. I have to sign papers, Daniel. They're Wait. treating this as a new admission. Because Why? his recertification paperwork, which has to be done every 60 days, that time there's a five day window and it was while you were in Florida. Oh. So essentially they had to discharge him from the agency and then readmit. You know, the last footage I have of you, you weren't even moving, your your face was white, you were like not responding to me. Now look at you. Okay. You happy today? Who is Daniel? Tuesday, July twenty fourth? just about 10 o'clock in the morning. I have to drive Sarah to work today because the other car that she usually drives has a flat tire. And Daniel had two therapy appointments and <coughs> OT and PT at home. And I need to be here to sign paperwork. Ow. I had a terrible night's sleep. I'm like really congested in my sinuses. It's like a cold kind of thing. The neighbor's cat goes under our deck and it totally distracts the dog. Then he doesn't go to the bathroom and then he's like barking at the door again. All done? Come on. And um, I don't have time for this. <laughs> oh man, the grass is wet. So I have to go to work for a little while. Daniel is doing okay this morning. He went to school on the bus. He stays at school from 8.30 to 12.30. That's the uh, summer hours happening. In six days, I'm turning 49, okay? So like, all right. The fact that my birthday is coming has me a little bit disturbed. I'm trying to be like, I'm such a happy person inside. But when I look at my age on a piece of paper, it's like really a big number. It's 49. And I don't feel 49. So I don't even know how that happens. <sighs> I mean, I'm still like a little kid. Sort of. Okay, day two, and this frog is still in there. Yep. He was here all day yesterday, too. What do you think he's doing just sitting in there? Like, I wonder if he goes out at night, or if he's just living in there. It looks like he has a little, almost a little area he's dug into the ground. Maybe it's a mama Fire frog. Pit. So I keep checking on him. <laughs> He's been there. Is that what you live here? See, this is what I'm talking about. I'm so, 
I'm so worried about this little frog. I just, I don't want to touch it or disturb it. But there he is. Little frog. I heard from the neurology team yesterday, the blood work that we did for Daniel all looked good. Everything looked within the ranges that it should be. Um, but he will see the doctor on Wednesday, tomorrow. So we're gonna go down to Guilford to see his neurologist. Guilford is about an hour and 20 minute drive. So that's happening. And uh, he went to school today. So I'm gonna try to work a little bit. And although Thomas is texting me something here. Why am I still wearing these glasses? Oh, they're not sunglasses. Those are reading glasses. And I'm walking around like I can't see. All right, so it's four. And um, my car's so hot. I'm sitting in hotness. I'm going to be heading home now. Feeling really exhausted. And my nose hurts. My head hurts. And I just got to... Anyway. Tired. I was busy in there today. Busy in the old insurance world. Gotta go. Thinking of a uh, salad for dinner. Something easy. This is a very special dog treat. Daniel made this at school today. It's got wheat and sweet potatoes and butter and all healthy things. What else was in it? Sweet potato, cheese, oats. Cauliflower, butter. Uh, that's better. Wow, so you want this? Judy, can you get a picture of him? Is it too, are you too backlit? No, that's good. You want him to go that way? Yeah. yeah let's, get, let's get you out of the sun. Judy wants to take a picture of you with the cookie. I Come send on. it to the girls. Come here. Sit. Do you like it? Whoa. That great, Henry? Can you get it? Oh, look at it. Yeah, I got one. Oh, perfect. Mmm. Oh, I think he likes it. Does it smell good? You want me to break a piece? Isn't that too hard? Ooh, touch it down. Oh, yummy. Oh, he likes it. I'll have to get the recipe. We'll have to get the recipe. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, look at this. There it goes. There we go. Now, you know they're good because Henry is very picky. Really? Yes. Yeah, I've seen him turn away. He looks nice. Yum. <laughs> he likes it. Oh, isn't that gratifying? Wow. It's really, it's such a healthy uh, cookie. Good boy, Henry. You put that outside to dry. Hi, Tim. This is Julie Hasselberger calling. I heard there was a whole lot of shaking going on in here. Are you calm down now? <laughs> Are you resting? Did Judy tell you that Henry loved your cookies that you made? Your doggy biscuits? He liked it. He has one more left. He needs to eat his supper though. He looks like you're all sweaty. <laughs> you're so silly. Are you watching Chicken Little? Huh? You like Chicken Little? You know? You're all red. Yeah. <laughs> you look like you just went for a two mile run. You look good? You look good. Your eyes are nice and bright. Yeah. He looks good. He does. Good job. Good job. We get to go see Dr. Testa tomorrow. Oh, see? Yes. All of a sudden it got so dark. Ah. Isn't that weird? It is weird. Start, you can see the trees starting to bloom too. What's going on, Henry? What do you see? We have to go pick Sarah up. Oh, your favorite song? Look at the trees are blowing. Oh no. This is your favorite song, John. This is your favorite song. <laughs> what are you? Who has that? A zombie. Weird sky. Look at that. Just a cool 
colors and formations. Oh, that's so cool. Isn't it? It's a today miracle. Look at that beautiful. I'm riding in the car with my baby. So we just drove to Target to pick up Sarah. It's like, I feel like on the way home, do this, do that, do this, do that. Make sure you do this, make sure you do that. Just, I don't know. Nobody asked me how my day was. I don't know, I just feel like, <laughs> I feel like nobody like cares about how my day was or how I'm feeling or what I might have on my own agenda. It's just, I don't know. I try to get things done for everybody. I mean, I'll get it done. Get the tire fixed, but I'm really sleepy. I think I need to sleep. We had a little storm a few minutes ago, but now it seems to be gone. Anyway, I gotta go check on Daniel. Oh my goodness, my body's so sore. So, so much pain. I hate having fibromyalgia. I wish I would just lose weight. Such a nemesis to myself.